Hello and welcome to a brand new video tutorial. This tutorial will be a bit more technical and not so long as the previous one. And it's not specific LightWave related, okay? Because this technique works with all other 3D applications and all other renderers. I like to talk about wood and how wood materials should look like. So here I have prepared a wooden floor with all the needed textures, ambient occlusion, color, glossiness, reflection, normal and extra bump. I plucked in everything into one material. And this is how the floor looks like. I really like it and it looks pretty good. It has a great amount of detail, the normal map works great, the balance between glossiness and reflection works, and overall this is a very nice material. But when we look a bit closer is that we see that the damaged part and the upper undamaged part of the wood has roughly the same amount of glossiness and roughly the same amount of reflection. Even in this example, I think that the damaged part is glossier than the undamaged part. And I want to change that. I want that the damaged part is rougher and that's why it's less reflective and less glossy than the undamaged upper part. And how I do that? I go into the glossiness map and here in Lightwave, I go into the edit. In other renderers, I would use the color correct node. But here in Lightwave, I use this panel here, okay? So the first thing I do is I invert this map and I change some values, okay? So I bring the brightness down and bring the contrast up. And then I fine tune that until I reach the level that I like So it's a slight change in the values. And now I have more separation between the rough part and the glossy part. Okay, so as you can see now, the damaged part here is more rough. And the upper part, the undamaged part of the wood, it looks more shiny, okay? You can see it here on this detail here that it looks different and in my opinion it looks much better okay and that's basically it okay i just change the glossiness map i invert the glossiness map and i change the value until i reach a level that i like so I created a quick comparison render between the original default wood material and the slightly approved one, okay? So here is the comparison. This is the default original one and this is the slightly approved one, okay? I personally like the improved one more than the default one. But please let me know in the comments which one you prefer more, the original one or the slightly improved one. If you find this technique by inverting the glossiness map and change the values a bit useful, please let me know. If you like this tutorial, please let me know. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening and see you next time. Bye everyone.